What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Torque Drift to take a look at uh, the new car that I've been uh, somewhat trying to get to handle how I want, and that is of my Corvette. So, if you guys remember the last episode, we were using Matt Fields' vet. Well, we do have this, I would say, stock vet, but it is nowhere near stock. Actually, going to kick up our uh, steering angle on that right there. So we are running some parts on this car. We don't have a lot of parts on it. We are running a, uh, I believe we're running full 18 pounds of boost on a Pro Turbo, and we are running a Pro LS one block. So, because we can't run the stock LS two, because unfortunately um, we uh, over torques the motor with that turbo. So we are running a Pro uh ls1 so we're gonna go rip this here today do a little do a little run on it Dep struggling to try to get grip on it but i have figured out how to get some grip on the car so let's see what we got we got apparently we got tunnel edge and big m here for some tandem events so we're gonna run and try and do some tandems right away but before we do that we're gonna hit up uh we're gonna hit up cali banks and run a test on this vet real quick and then we're gonna try and run and get some tandem so I have noticed a lot of people are trying to uh, run this vet but they're having some problems getting grip so I am actually running um, just basically the Nexon N5000 um, and it does slide a little bit and it is uh, a little tricky to get going at first so we're gonna just throw it in third it does like third gear and that right there, that that initiation or lack thereof is one thing I've been struggling to, uh, I guess, sort out with this car. It's slightly a difficult car to get going, but uh, that's kind of why I'm trying to uh, get it to run right because I do like the challenge of it. So we kind of have to flick this a little bit harder and not do that, as you can see. Once it doesn't initiate, it doesn't really want to initiate. So that's what the struggles I've been having with this vet and the lack of grip is not really there as much of my initial turn in and snaps are not there so there's a bit of a lack of grip so this Corvette is a very difficult car to try and get going the initiation is weird it doesn't want to initiate right um, so we're gonna go look at some settings but once it gets going and once the car sideways it handles pretty well but it's uh definitely a very interesting car to try and uh try and get going and i think it might have to do with um my suspension settings that i have i have it set pretty i guess you would say uh it's it's lowered a lot when i probably need to be have it raised a little bit more get some body roll so we're gonna raise it back up I lowered it to try to make it look a little bit better but it's it's not really handling how I want it to so definitely gonna have to uh, raise it back up some so we're gonna go get in the tans with this car if you guys have this car and you guys are able to get it to go let me know what you guys are finding help it initiate a little bit better um, maybe you guys tried it and don't like it I know there's a couple people in the comments that have been asking how to get grip and how you know stuff like that so I think it has to do something with just the weight, the weight bias, and everything of this car. Matt Fields' this car handles very well, but this one, uh, this one's a little bit, uh, a little bit on the crazy side. So we're gonna go see if we can't get a good run here, and see what we can do here on Tunnel Edge. So that initiated a little bit better. We did miss that though. So it initiated a little bit better, but once it goes sideways, and you are pretty much in the transition back and forth. The car does not have, ooh, the car doesn't have a problem initiating back and forth. It's that initial initiation that I am trying to sort out with this car, and then there's that grip of getting off gas and just completely losing all power. So it's a very difficult car that I'm finding to drive, and it's making me want to learn how to tune this car more to get it to handle how I want it to. Because 
I actually don't see a lot of people running these. So it's kind of like, okay, well, I want to run it now because I don't see a lot of them. So we're going to see if we can get at least a decent chase. And I think this car is more so needs to be more about basically, I guess, flicking weight transition. See, it didn't want to initiate it all there. And I just went straight on into him. So the struggles of this car are definitely real. But uh, we just need to uh, sort it out and there's a lack of grip. It almost is like it grips at points and then it loses grip. And I don't know, I'm trying to have a hard time following this guy's line. And it's very weird to me why it's acting that way. And I'm wondering if maybe I should switch it back to the other motor. Or maybe if it's my choice of rims and rim profile and stuff like that. So we may mess with a couple things here on today's episode to try and maybe dial this car in a little bit better. Go take a look at maybe some different rims. I think the car comes factory with 20s. And I think I dropped it down to 19s, which might have been my, my mistake. So we're going to go take a look, maybe buy some rims and see if we can't adjust this a little bit. So let's see, what do we got in our uh, rim selection? So we're down 19s and the factories, no, they were 19s. So maybe these wheels just are not the wheel are not. I've noticed that wheels make a huge difference on how the cars react. So we're gonna go see what kind of alloys we can get and see. 21s, that's too much. Some five spoke 19s. We definitely have to, would have to change the profile. Or we can go to the 20s that are like on all my other cars. Let's go with that and see how this works for us. Got some uh, credits there. We're gonna insta buy that. We're gonna have to change our tire profile because I do not think that that is going to be the right tire profile at all. 35s then we're gonna bump them up to 35s in the rear as well and we're gonna do basically 10 inch wide stagger or 10 inch wide squared so we're gonna go give this a run and see how this does we're running a lot of camber in the front but the struggle of trying to get this car is definitely what I'm striving to get so if you guys have any tips on a car that you guys found for this vet to get it to handle better let me know in the comment section down below grip levels i'm struggling kind of here and there with this car and i think it's just a characteristic of the car but uh we're gonna see how these uh these 20s work we're gonna go into third because the car likes third so the initiation was a little bit better but it is gripping up a little bit more, actually. So that's, this is a step in the right direction. We were not able to hold that there, but it's almost like the handbrake doesn't want to hold fully when it was sliding, but this handles, oh, oh, how did we not lose our points there? Handles a lot better with these wheels on it and the profile, so step in the right direction definitely not anywhere near perfect compared to some of my other cars like my e46 and stuff that i'm extremely comfortable in but this car definitely just something i want to try and get going and uh get handling better because well it's a fun car to look at that is a car that not many people are using so I like to be a little bit different so we're gonna see about getting a better chase in a little bit see right there definitely straightens up real quick and it's almost like oh that man totally botched it it straightens up real quick when it's sideways almost like I'm like running out of gear ratio so maybe I need to be in fourth I'm gonna use as many tandem points as I can see 
it does grip up a lot. So maybe we will have to uh, change our tires to a less grippier tire in the rear, maybe a grippier tire in the front. Maybe that will help. I'm going to give that a shot. Maybe that'll help us uh, get the car to, to rotate a little bit more. So we're going to go on the front. We're going to go with some Nexons, and in the rear, we're going to go with a little less grippy of our tire. See if maybe that's going to help us in transition with this car. Maybe it'll help snap the car quicker when it comes to initiating. You know, I'm all up for trying new things with this car, for sure. So make sure you guys follow my Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. Okay, that was a little bit better. I feel like that was uh, not a hard enough wall tap where it would have knocked all my points up because I hit that wall harder and it didn't take my points away. Really hard on the e-brake. Nowhere near where I wanted to be. But it is starting to work a little bit better how I want until right there. So the struggle of this Corvette is here. And uh, I'm going to be working on this car trying to get it to work better and better. It worked good on the slab, but unfortunately other tracks, it's not working how I really wanted it to. So definitely got to do some fine tweaking to this car and uh, try and get this thing to uh, get dialed like my E46 and stuff like that. See right there, we gripped up hardcore in a straight line. And I just needed to get to handle like uh, I guess Matt Fields is a drift vet. I guess I could probably try and mimic the suspension setup that his vet is set on and see if that would help. But close to the end, we were able to get a better run out of the car. So we're going to try running Matt Fields vet here real quick and just see the difference. And uh, well, of course, his vet has a lot more power, but I feel like we should be okay nonetheless. So we're running 800 some in that, and we're going to go to Fields' his vet with 1,050. So definitely going to look at suspension tuning. Oh, look, there's as we say, there's no other vets. There's a vet right there. We see how this man's line is in that vet. So I'm sticking to fourth. See, his initiates right away. Does still have the kind of grip up feature that the other one does on these tracks. So I'm wondering if it's just the way the car reacts. We're gonna run that really wide as much as possible. Do a long e-brake grab, really shallow. And definitely, uh, was doing a lot better in this car at Long Beach. We'll see how the other man fares in his vet, and maybe, uh, maybe he'll do better in it, and maybe we'll be able to see that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Does not look like he got a very good run, and he forfeited. Is he gonna get, we get a rematch on him? Probably not. Nope. So, not looking good for the vets here in the game. Not quite sure. So, let's do a quick change in suspension and maybe try and make this thing super soft. And uh, see if maybe this car needs to be really soft and spongy to handle how I want it to. So, let's go tuning, suspension. See, that would just make it stiffer. So let's make that as soft as possible in the front. And then we're going to make it as soft as possible in the rear. And then I want to tweak. Don't want that much camber in the front. We're gonna dial the camber back. We're gonna kick up the caster to eight degrees. 
And then we are going to go into the back. And then we are going to look at rear angle. 32, try and zero the camber out. Actually, let's add some camber. Let's see if we can help uh, get rid of some of that slide or help the slide. We do our stock diff. We should probably upgrade the diff if we have some money to throw a diff in this car. Or if we have a diff available. Sicky diff. We have, we do have a import diff. We're gonna throw that on there. Okay, we're gonna throw that import diff in. We're gonna go tweak that diff lock funnel drive. Okay, we're gonna leave all that there. So now we're gonna go run it and see how it handles softer suspension, a little bit uh, and a uh, diff throw on there. So. Our final drive is messed up or changed, so we may have to adjust what gear we run in. Actually, no, we're gonna go back to running all the same tires. We're gonna run all Nexons. Come on, so sensitive. Give me my Nexons. There we go. So, like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you guys like this and you want to see more. Make sure you let me know down in the comment section down below. Tap the like button, subscribe. I do appreciate all the support. Definitely going to be doing open lobby here soon. Looks like we're going against Anthony in an S13. So, let's see how the gearing works right now. A little bit faster of a XL. Kind of screwed up initiation. off the wall so we kind of totally just messed this uh, this run up but we're going to try to make the best of it it's very twitchy right now and I think I think the gear ratio is set for now we should be in fourth with that final drive yeah it looks like we should probably be in fourth this is a very fast car it's really fast when it's sideways so that's one thing I am noticing with it and yeah, he definitely got a way better run than us. So we'll probably end this after this run. Fourth. I really don't like when people do that stuff. It, it bothers me so much with the whole zigzaggy entry thing when that's really not how you should be doing it. But it is what it is to each their own. Try and stay in power. Chase as best we can. So it definitely handles way better in fourth gear. We should have probably been fourth on our lead. So we'll probably try and get one more lead in fourth gear. So final drive in fourth now. So we did not take the win. He's not gonna give us a chance to uh, go after him again. So we're trying to find one more person here with the vet. The struggles are real here today with this vet. Definitely going to be trying to do some more work with this car and make it handle how I want it to. So one final run here at Hakone, or Hakone before I get blasted in the comment section. To end the episode off, if we can find somebody, maybe, no... It was connecting, not even searching. There we go. Now we're searching. E46, Shark Bomb. All right, let's go. 773 horsepower on a pro car against our 800 and some horsepower aftermarket car. All right, so now we're gonna run this in. We're gonna flick it now. Feather off gas, we did miss it, but we're still Okay. Oh, come on. That was not that was not a hard tap at all. I feel like the taps have changed a little bit in this game where some of them shouldn't be wall taps and other ones that 
like that. Like that probably shouldn't have taken my points away, but it did. So not the best lead run or at all. Ooh, that was rough. So bit of a rough start for this vet build for sure. But uh, we will have a better lead. So we're hopefully going to see, maybe get a chase to end this episode off. So as always, I like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys on the track and next time. Ooh, that was a good initiation. Here we go. Oh, he's going to write it off. No? When does he write it off? Oh, bother. Ooh. That does definitely doesn't look like a 20,000 point run. Huh? Well, that's what happened, so.